Hey, Dr. Tom Hansen here, the Playbook Academy in Tampa, Florida. I want to share an observation I made watching a couple baseball games this weekend. A big league game, Red Sox-Tigers, and a minor league game, uh, no, no, uh, 10 and under travel ball uh, game. Now, um, one of the biggest challenges that coaches tell us that they face is getting players to think in terms of team, in terms of a we thing. Well, that's what do we need to do to win, and let's we win this game, versus me and what are my stats on my batting average, my ERA. And have it be all about me. And I think this is exacerbated. Uh, it's a normal human tendency for sure to look after yourself. Um, it's somewhat exacerbated, I think, by um, as kids jump around to different teams, as a, all the travel teams, and they might jump around a great deal. It seems to become all about the only we is the parents and the child. <laughs> They'll say, oh, we threw 83 miles an hour. Um, it's like, so now here's the irony is that. The more you focus as a team, the more an individual is like, okay, let's win this game for the team, the better they play as an individual. It takes some of the heat off themselves that it's all about me. And it particularly helps rise you up or keep you afloat when things are going badly for you as an individual. Shane Victorino is like two for 22, two for 23. Do you think he was up there thinking about that? I don't think so. I think the fact that the whole game and the season is on the line um, he's focused on this at bat, and the crowd makes it easier. I think it's much easier in the playoff situation to think team. Um, but again, if you're two for 22 and you're up to bat, ugh. but if you're trying to win the game and you've got bases loaded and you're in this situation, then it's much easier to be locked in on this approach. What typically happens is people let the past weigh them down when the past is real negative. And the same thing happened. It also helps when the guy throws you the same pitch three times in a row. <laughs> now there's a time for that, and you could have got away with it. But, I mean, if he did throw in a fastball there, I just don't think there was any way humanly possible um, that Victorino could have hit a fastball. So, um, nonetheless, that's the way it goes. And um, the thing with the 10 and under, it's like my son or watching, watching the game is like, he gets out the first time, out the second time. He's bummed. He pitched, didn't pitch um, as well as he would like to have. And so I could tell he was a little bit down. But I was like, dude, this game is going to end up 10-9. to And you could end up in a situation where you have a chance to be a key player in deciding the outcome of the game. So stay with it. And adopting that mindset of team just acts as a buffer um, against having you get down too low. Um, and takes the pressure off of any one at bat or any one time out on the mound that you're trying to win this as a team. So um, I just it just struck me uh, the irony of it was full frontal for me that um, what we tip a player typically does is like oh, I want to be all about me so it can so I can improve when he actually by taking a team mindset creates uh, a much be much better emotional shock absorbers around himself. Um, to handle the ups and downs of the game. So consider that, pass that on to your players, um, that being focused on keeping the team greater than you actually makes you greater.